Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have something very fresh, very very exciting. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at uh one of the mega tin from the 2023 Turbo Attacks collection. Okay, so this have just been released about three weeks ago, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on the three tin bundle. And today we're gonna have a look at the first mega tin. Okay, so if if you guys um are fans of formula one um you guys like to watch me open formula one cards uh or the turbo attacks collection do drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and also you can find us on our other socials so we're on instagram and tiktok as well okay so let's get started so for those of you who are not familiar with um the turbo attacks collection um this is actually a trading card game so it's an actual game that you can play um it, it comes so if you buy the starter set it comes with like a game mat and as you would see the cards have the stats of the different drivers and this is the new collection for this year. so it's quite similar to quite similar to the previous year's mega tin you get 66 cards in the tin as well as oh in this case it's different because you have six limited edition cards Compared to last year where you only get 4 in the Mega Team, you get 6 this year as well as 4 exclusive cards. So I did get the 3 tin bundle, um, so we're doing the green one today and if you guys would like to see the other colours and what um, are the differences between the other colours, do drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, what I'm super excited about this tin is that there's actually cards of... Uh, racing drivers from the 90s so you have uh, so uh you get Ayrton Senna uh you can pull Michael Schumacher you can pull Alan Prost you can pull David Coulthard so nice and also I believe this year the uh, Turbo Attacks collection you actually have a higher chance of getting autograph uh or the signature style cards okay so opening up the tin we have what we find quite familiar from the other mega tins you have the limited edition pack which is quite different from the standard pack that you'll find okay maybe let me just grab one with a similar color okay so as you can see side by side this one looks slightly different so you will know that this is from a tin which contains limited edition cards okay so let's set the tin aside okay set the tin aside here let me do the bulk of the pack here so you get this white color um, pack with uh, a lot of base cards so we can see what the designs this year I, I've already cracked open some of the uh, singular packs so I already know how the card designs looks like uh, which I feel there are some aspects that I like and there are some aspects which I do not like so let me just start off with the aspect that I do not like and that's the design of my pack I actually feel that the previous year design they've done a much better job with it this year design looks too looks too gamey for my liking it looks too cartoonish okay so let's let's get started so these are the uh, epic moments and live action style cards uh, similar to last year but different design this year and then we have a team duo which we also get so there are a lot of series um, there are a lot of series that um, are similar to last year but then the designs are they've, they've they basically refreshed the designs to make them probably more uh, professional in some sense and what i really like um, also another aspect is that for the formula 3 card last year you just get the team cards but in this year's collection you get individual formula 3 driver so in this case we have gregoire saucy hero card we have george russell epic moments luke browning formula 3 qualifying master Alex Albon, uh, we have Speedster, Sergio Perez, and we have PSA, the PSA card, which I believe uh, refers to their radio messages. So in this case, we have a radio message from Carlos Sainz. Yeah, so it says public service announcement. That's what PSA means. Okay, so epic moments right here. Epic moments from Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, and this year actually features cards from the Singapore Grand Prix 2022 which uh, based in Singapore I'm super happy that they finally remembered to put us on the card designs and they've also featured it uh, 
quite prominently on the design of the pack itself. <laughs> okay, so this is the Marina Bay Sands uh, building, resort, hotel. <laughs> so they feature it on the pack here, which is quite nice. And on the cards itself, so there are multiple cards with this design. I've seen a Sergio Perez one, I've seen a Carlos Sainz one, and we have a Lando Norris one today. Okay, let me see, live action, I actually ran out of room to put that. So there are a lot of different style of, uh, sort of subsets, you can probably we'll call them subsets. And so of course we have hero cards, in this case F2, F3 and F1 as well. So Jack Duhan, Oliver Gurf, Tommy Smith, F3, Lando Norris, again. Uh, let me just put him, I'll probably put him somewhere there. Uh, this one will be Valtteri Bodas. Epic Moments, Nick the Vries, uh, this would probably be a card worth keeping. At the time of making this video, Nick the Vries has uh, officially been confirmed as being fired from Alpha Tori and will be replaced by Daniel Ricciardo uh, starting from the Hungarian Grand Prix. Okay, so we have Joe, we have Brett Benavides. Let me just speed things up a little. Joe again and the strategy card. So different compared to last year where you only get the strategy card from the starter packs this year they, they actually put it into the uh, individual singular packs itself which I think it's quite interesting um, because particularly that's bringing people away from the starter pack because I guess one of the appeal of getting a starter pack is that you would actually complete the full card set by getting the strategy card anyways Nick the Vries again okay this time a hero card the card design looks different as well uh, so last year the car design it's it's a bit more simple there's less stuff going on in the background okay speedster team duo Valtteri Bodas hero Magnussen hero Bosham uh, Roman Stanek Richard Vershaw Esteban Ocon Lando Norris hero card I'm just putting cards like all over the place now <laughs> I haven't bothered to sort them I'll probably do that after the video ends okay Lando Norris Enzo Fittipaldi, Max Verstappen. In this case, it's Japanese Grand Prix. Japanese Grand Prix, the pit crew, Charles Leclerc, pit crew as well. So they have pit crew from different uh, from different teams, yeah, which I find quite repetitive but interesting choice. And the other Singapore Grand Prix card, Carlos Sign, which I mentioned earlier, it's quite nice. Team Duo, Red Bull, Lance Stroll in the Canadian Grand Prix. We have Frederick Vesti. We have team duo of George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. We have Dennis Hauger, pit crew this time Aston Martin, and coming up for our four cards. So they've they've revamped the, their four card as well. So there are it seems to be lesser parallels this year. So last year actually have uh, parallels that are numbered up to five hundred. This year is up to two hundred and ninety nine only. Okay, superstar card Valtteri Bottas. We have a team logo Red Bull. We have a superstar Norris. We have Charles Leclerc, most improved driver award. Um, interesting choice of image, um, seeing that they've put like the emojis in the background, which I find completely unrelated to what this card is is uh, is supposed to be. Max Verstappen. Stars of tomorrow. We have Jack Duhan coming up to our purple parallels. We have Logan Sargent Superstar, our next purple, Max Verstappen, and again, very interesting choice with the emojis in the background bearing completely no relation to, 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 to what the card is about. Okay, we have a parallel team logo of LP. We have, wow, Gladiator Warrior, Fernando Alonso. Nice, okay, coming out to our last four card. Of this, we have Alain Prost, the best professor himself. Awesome. So this is the, uh, as I was saying, this is the style of uh, card that uh, that you get. It's called the Legend Legend Collection or Le the Legend subset. So Alain Prost, Ethan Senna, uh, David Kuta. I'm not too sure whether you get different drivers in different tins, but we'll just see when we crack open the uh, next tin. So if you like me to uh, open the next tin, uh, do drop this video a like leave it down in the comments below drop us a subscribe and also follow us on our socials okay let's go to our limited edition pack and let's see what's inside so we already have alarm pros i don't know whether i'll get any more in this 
Uh, if I do, I'll be happy. I'll be very, very happy. And we do. We do get another legend card. So look at that. One tin, two legend cards. Or is it three? Two legend cards. You get two legend cards. Okay, so of course on the on the back you have the design on the teams which you would know which uh which team that you're pulling. Okay, so let's flip it around. Look at that. Vegas Yuki Sunoda. I feel this year they've they've gone for a more colorful design. Logan Sergeant Vegas Nightlife. George Russell Nightlife. Pierre Gasly Nightlife. I think this is probably one of the uh, sort of a uh, card that you get with this tin. So you, you remember last year there are different mega tins for different style of subsets, and I believe this year this is how they're going. Then we have Nigel Mansell, Emerald Limited Edition. Wow. So if, if you are a fan of drivers from the 90s, I think tin, yeah, you should definitely go for that. Or even Turbo Attacks 2023 itself, the full set, you might be able to chase the. Um, these legend drivers from the 90s in those singular packs as well okay Nigel Manso we have Joe we have Fernando Alonso in this case Diamond we have Pierre Gasly Gold we have Kevin Magnussen Diamond and the last legend card okay so um, I feel this year they've actually tone down the uh, design of the limitation card themselves it's a bit less less loud compared to last year last year is quite loud I, do, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, if you ask me I much prefer the designs from last year but uh, I actually also do dig the color border at the, the side here which is uh, yeah which is very nice okay so going up to our last card legend driver who will it be and it's Ayrton Senna. I should have noticed that when they said there's a limited edition card of Ayrton Senna. <laughs> oh, you guys probably know that already. So I, I, I've kept you guys in suspense for nothing. <laughs> okay, so Ayrton Senna. Quartz, limited edition card. Very, very nice. So, driver from the 90s, we have Pross, we have Mansell, and we have Senna. So very, very interesting uh, first look at our 2023 Turbo Attacks Megaton. Okay, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, do drop us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, as well as follow us on our social, which will be down in the description box below. Okay, so uh, everybody take care. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.